Mom has Alzheimer's. I wonder if I will get it too. Is my family gonna be okay? Can I prevent this from happening to me? Hi, I'm Jay Ingram, science broadcaster and author of the book, The End of Memory, A Natural History of Aging and Alzheimer's. Worldwide, 50 million people are affected by Alzheimer's disease and related dementias. And that number is expected to triple over the next 30 years. Alzheimer's disease is undoubtedly the greatest long-term global threat to health that we face today. We know that age, gender, and genetics all play a role in Alzheimer's disease, but there are ways you can reduce your risk. It starts early with education. Many in-depth studies have established that your level of education can directly affect the risk of getting Alzheimer's later in life. Formal education helps you build what's called cognitive reserve. It keeps your brain resilient and protects against the kind of damage that can lead to Alzheimer's disease. Learning a second language, picking up a hobby, both can help keep your brain fit and healthy, but the sooner, the better. If you're between 45 and 65, hearing loss is a significant risk for Alzheimer's, so be sure to get hearing tests and hearing aids can help too. Obesity is also a significant risk, as is consuming more than two alcoholic drinks every day. And managing your blood pressure, whether by healthy eating or exercise, or if necessary, medication, can also reduce your risk. Now, this is new. We now know that traumatic brain injury, such as concussion, can trigger processes in the brain that may lead to Alzheimer's and dementia. So. Wear a helmet if you're engaging in sports and proper footwear, especially in the winter, to reduce the chances of injury due to an accident or a fall. After the age of 65, you're gonna to wanna to stay as physically active as possible with as much cardio as you can handle. That way you'll keep your body and your brain in good shape. Diabetes is another risk. People with type two diabetes are twice as likely to develop dementia and cigarette smokers run a 45% increased risk. Quitting smoking at any age can ward off a number of diseases, including Alzheimer's. Social isolation and depression are both prevalent and devastating for the elderly. And both have been linked to an increased risk for Alzheimer's. And finally, it makes a difference where you live and work. New studies have shown that air pollution can be linked to an increased risk for neurodegenerative disease, such as Alzheimer's. And that risk is highest for women over 65. By taking action to avoid these modifiable risk factors, experts believe that 40% of all cases of dementia could either be delayed or prevented altogether, 40%. I think of my mother in the last few years of her dementia, how hard life was on her and my father. This disease has taken far too many lives far too early. But remember, it's never too late to reduce your chances of developing Alzheimer's or dementia. Know the risks, change the outcome. Our goal at Kremble is to advance knowledge about Alzheimer's disease and the related dementias. We are dedicated to basic science research, translational research, and clinical research focused on Alzheimer's disease to reduce the risks, to better diagnose it, and to come up with cures for the disease.